everybody, Travis here with The Modern Bait Company. As you guys know, or may or may not know, I guess, we do Subaru conversions into vintage Volkswagen bay window buses. The bay window buses are from 1968 to 1979. Most of the buses that we actually do are late bays, uh, like this one right here. Uh, this is Moon Pie. Uh, she has a 79 bay window bus uh, for actually a local client, uh, which is kind of fun. Uh, we've got two Colorado clients and the rest are kind of spread uh, all over the country right now, which is which is cool, but it's cool to, to get to work on a local bus. So this is Moon Pie, and this is Moon Pie's new power plant. Uh, we are, I'm super excited about this. I feel like every build we do, uh, you know, there's something that we find to improve, something that we find to make better. Um, and this is, I can you know, easily say, this is our best one yet, which is super exciting. So the owners of Moon Pie opted for uh, this kind of classic scheme in the engine bay, uh, silver and black. Uh, we did a scuff and shoot on the engine bay, uh, matte black and I gotta say, personally, it just, it came out awesome. Uh, this, is, this is super, super exciting. So, but the point of today's video is it's startup day, guys. Um, and for, for the uninitiated, uh, which I think is everybody, because this is our first video <laughs> posting a startup day, what startup day is, is first start of uh, the new engine. So uh, we here at the shop, Jesse and I, who's behind the camera, uh, we're super excited on days like this because it's a lot of, it's a lot of work to get to this point. Every bolt, every nut, every piece, every part um, comes together. And then there's this moment of, is it going to work? I feel like I'm on a reality show right now. Does that does it seem like it? <laughs> there's this moment of like, is it going to work? And I'll just, I'll be the first to say, we've had some trials on startup day. Um, there's, oops, excuse me. There's almost always something, uh, usually something small, like, oh, we have a small intake leak, we have, you know, this or that. Uh, there was one time, guys, I, I had my whole family here. It was startup day. It was in the evening. We'd been working all day on this beautiful bus, Reggie the bus uh, out in Missouri. Uh, you can see you see it in some of our other videos. Working on this bus, and we're ready. My whole family happens to pull up right around the time we're going to start up, and they unload. I've got a big family. So there were like eight of us in the shop. I had, we had an audience, basically, and everyone's ready. And I'm like, okay, go for it. And it sounded terrible. It sounded so bad. <laughs> that wasn't right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Needless to say, it did not start. Uh, we had a much bigger problem, uh, which I can talk about another time, um, but which we were able to remedy in about an hour, hour and a half, and, and all ended up fine uh, on that bus. But suffice it to say, uh, startup day, sometimes it goes perfectly, sometimes it does not, and then most often it's kind of in between. But we'll see how things look here today with Moon Pie. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about our startup procedure uh, here in a second. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so as far as the procedure goes for startup, and this is off the top of my head, I'm not looking at our list, but um, basically what, what, I do, what I do very first is check the oil. Okay, I have not been drinking, uh, we're fine. <laughs> um, we, we start by checking the oil we fill them up with oil as we do the engine builds it's part of our checklist but um it's just like a worst nightmare scenario so uh we check the oil i'll do that real quick you hold your thumb over the ends kind of like a straw and then you hold the end so it doesn't fling oil on you and then boom right there we've got oil we've got our five quarts it's brand new synthetic 5w30 is what we use and so <laughs> Check that box. We have oil. That's step one. Uh, step two, we prime the oil pump. So I disconnect uh, the connector on the coil so that our engine isn't firing. Uh, and we prime uh, the pump so that oil is going throughout the engine before we actually start. So there's no point of oil starvation um, on first startup. Um, and then step 1.5, I'm going to back up, um, is putting gas in the tank. So we put a few gallons of gas in before we actually drive it to the gas station to fill it up. Um, but we prime the fuel pump so you can, you can hear the pump gurgling, uh, as we prime it, you'll hear it in a minute, probably, um, we prime the pump, make sure it's got fuel. Uh, and then, yeah, we, um, prime the oil, we prime the fuel pump, prime the oil pump. And then there, I mean, there are other various things that are not engine related. We torque all the lug nuts down and make sure we do that <laughs> before we actually drive. We're pretty meticulous in our builds and in getting everything else ready. Uh, it's got coolant in it, obviously. So we, we fill it up with coolant. Once it starts up and it runs, you know, it starts running and that thermostat opens, we top up the coolant, we bleed the cooling system. So it's got no air pockets or things like that. That's a big deal uh, with these Subaru conversions. If you've got air pockets, you're gonna be overheating or thinking you're overheating and it's super frustrating. So uh, we bleed the coolant, 
Uh, we've got like a, a process for that. And other than that, we just celebrate and we party because uh, it's startup day. And uh, usually we get to drive the bus that same day, which is always kind of the best part. So uh, let's do it. All right. Step one, putting gas in. Watch me. This is super exciting. Um, and this is even more exciting because we're using my least favorite gas can. I hate this thing <laughs> with a passion. Uh, Jesse will attest to how... I can do Subaru conversions, but I can never quite make this thing work. Oh, shimmy Christmas. You okay? Yeah. Did I get well, in your eyes? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, we're back uh, with safety goggles on. Um, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, rest assured, Jesse is okay. The camera is okay. Um, and I hate that gas can. Uh, we just need a new one. So... Anyhow, it was pressurized. Now it's not, maybe. Um, and I'm going to yet again try to do this. All right. So gas is in the tank. That's step one. Nothing's leaking so far. So bonus. That's great. <laughs> um, and step two, we're going to unplug our uh, coil right back here. So we use brand new coils, uh, Subaru coils on these guys. Um, and quick trick, if these aren't, guys aren't coming, you can get a flathead. Um, once you pinch that connector, you can just gently pry until that guy is off and fully disconnected. So there we go. Um, so that guy's disconnected. We are going to prime. Uh, we've got fuel, you know, pumping. And so with that disconnected, we'll be okay. It's not going to start. Uh, we'll be okay to prime our fuel pump, prime our oil pump. Uh, with a few uh, turns of the key. So that's up next. I feel like these videos always get so long and don't have a lot of content in them, but hey, this is just what we do. Um, so hopefully it's helpful for some of you guys out there doing these Subaru conversions or just to see some of our process here. So uh, what we're gonna do right now, like I said, prime the pump. So I'm gonna actually, oh, I don't need to. Jesse has already connected the battery. I'm just gonna try to make sure that's nice and tight. Feels nice and tight. So Jesse, ready? I'm ready. All right, half click. Half click. Full. Full. That's what I like to hear. So we heard that fuel pump priming. That's what that was. Uh, not hearing any bubbles. Usually we do the first, I don't know, four, five, six times we prime it. Um, just working that air out. But um, now, Jess, you ready? I'm ready. Clutch in. Clutch in. All right, we're going to full turn for about 10 seconds. And fire in the hole. Key off. Key off. Oh yeah, I hear that fuel bubbling in there. Um, so that was our first one. We're gonna do that about three times. All right, Jess, you ready? Number two? Ready. We'll go about 15 seconds this time and half click. Half click. Full click. Full. Clutch in. Clutch in. I don't know if you guys can hear those bubbles, but that's what I'm used to hearing. And you ready? Yep. Hit it. Okay, that's number two. We're gonna do it one more time. I also love how strong that starter is. So that's our upgraded, uh, the upgraded starter with our Modern Bay Company starter adapter, pushing this engine. And I mean, you can just tell the difference between using a Volkswagen starter and this guy. It's It cranks it, which is awesome. So, all right, your key off. Key off. All right, half click. Half click. Let's listen for those bubbles, full click. Yeah, yeah, a few bubbles, pushing it through. All right, and you ready? Yep. Hit it. Yep. All right, key off. I'm, I'm excited. This is, this is going to be good. Okay, so everything's primed. I'm going to uh, plug my coil back in. Make sure you get that click. Uh, coil's plugged in, and we've never had to use it, but fire extinguisher is handy. <laughs> so, um, so there's that. And Jess, how you feeling? Feeling pretty good. You feeling good? Okay, uh, we got OBD two up there. The ultra gauge is showing stuff. When when it was uh, turning before? Yeah, it came on. All right, cool. Um, okay, what do you say? Should we do it? Let's do it. Okay, so half click. Half. And full click. Cool. Didn't hear any bubbles, so hopefully we're nice and primed on our fuel pump. Should we hit it, Jess? Let's go. 
All right, fire in the hole, hit it. Not there yet. We'll get there, no worries. All right, and again. Ready? Yep. All right. Okay, so like I said, sometimes it starts right up, sometimes it doesn't. I'm a little crestfallen right now. It's on video. That would have been super exciting if it started, but we'll fiddle around a little bit and see what we can find. So this is the actual moment of truth. We, we heard it start up for about two seconds, shut it off, um, fix our crankshaft position sensor connector. Uh, and I hope it starts. Uh, Jess, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, man. You feeling good? Okay, I'm gonna roll on two. Rolling on two. All right, I got the throttle as a heads up. Okay. And position one. One. Position two, we're primed, and you ready? Yep. Okay, hit it. garage so we're just gonna let it run for that long well it's time to take it out so boom just give it yeah. to me oh, right there sounds good it's yeah. awesome all right all right here we are maiden voyage we're doing it oh yeah there's first gear she's feeling good <laughs> all right Gotta let everything kind of wear in. No brakes, all the stuff. But we're feeling good.